Okay, in this video, we will uh, discuss the, the problem number two in isometric projection. The question is like this: they give a m sphere of 40 mm diameter is supported coaxially on the vertex of a cone of base diameter 60 mm and uh, axis length 50 mm. The flat circular face of the m sphere is facing upside. Draw the isometric position of the combination of solids. And here, first we need to check the object. Here, the object they given one is m sphere and another one is cone. The bottom object is cone on the the cone is placed such that the base is resting on the floor and the apex is upside. On the top of the apex, the hemisphere is placed. The circular part of the hemisphere is resting on the apex. The flat surface should be seeing the upside. So like that we need to make this combination. So first we will start with the cone, the bottom object cone. To construct the cone, first we need to construct the a circular face of the cone, bottom circular face of the cone. Uh, we uh, they given the diameter of the uh, base is 60 mm. They given that uh, you can see in the question the base of 60 mm. So we need to construct the uh, how to construct the circular in isometric. To construct the is, uh, circle circular objects in isometric, first we need to construct the a, a frame of uh, that is square frame of given diameter. So we have given diameter 60. So I need to construct the a square frame of uh, 60. But take the line option in the normal line because that is just a construction part only after getting the circle that we need to make it visible so click it here and the length we have to give the given diameter the diameter is the given 60 so 60 angle combinations we know that 60 30 60 150 then 60 minus 150 then 60 minus 30 so now we got the a frame after getting the frame to construct the circle, we use the arc method here. We need we need to get the four arcs to construct the four segment of the circumference of that circle. So first we will uh, how to get the uh, centers means first the top corner and the bottom corner is still become the two centers and remaining is intersection of the lines. How to get the in intersection of lines here? We need to take the bottom corner and we need to draw the line to the opposite edge. These are the two opposite edges. To the midpoint, we need to draw the normal line. Okay, see, like this one and they go to again the bottom corner and take another opposite edge and draw the line to the midpoint of that thing from top corner to bottom two edges to the midpoints. We need to draw a line, okay? Like this, total we need to draw the four lines. And now the centers are the top corner one, and this is a two, and this one is three, and this one is four. Now Go to the arc by center point. In the option, we have the arc by center, center point. Select this option and then go to visible line because this is the profile actual the, uh, circular portion of the cone. And uh, once you select the uh, arc by center point and the visible line, go to the bottom corner and first click it for center. And then arc segment should be start from the this midpoint to the another midpoint. Like this, we have to draw the first arc segment and again go to the top corner and draw the arc for the bottom midpoint between the two midpoints and now the right side this is the intersection we have to take it right side we have to take this uh, right point the starting point and we need to end up this here so right segment and the left side then go to the center and from the remaining portions we need to take it and finish like this this is a the, uh, the circular portion of the cone we got it now we need to give the height to get the apex so we need to give the height given height is after uh, constructing we can delete all this uh, the whatever the lines we join to get the midpoints and go to the normal line draw the diagonal line to get the midpoint draw the diagonal line here we can easily get the midpoint the height of the cone we given is uh, 50 so from the center of this line we need to give the height 50 angle is 90 now we got the height of the cone and after finishing that go to line visible line from the apex top of the line we draw tangent to the bottom circular face of the cone like this we need to draw the tangent two tangents to two either side once you finish the uh, tangent then we need to delete the hidden the segments what are coming behind that cone object so you can zoom it by zoom area you can use zoom the portions inside and you can trim the the segments coming behind of that okay now the cone portion is finished now we need to construct the hemisphere 
to hemisphere this is like is, uh, the entire sphere is cutted to the off and one more circular face we can see so same way how we construct the circular face of the code here every sphere also we will construct the same method so now go to the line normal line and uh, hemisphere they given of uh, diameter 40 so diameter 40 means we need to construct the a frame of 40 square frame of 40, 40 angle common enter angle is 30 again 40 angle is 150 again 40 angle is minus 150 then again 40 angle is minus 30 okay, now go to the bottom corner draw the line to the opposite edges uh, midpoint of the opposite edges and then top corner to bottom edges midpoint like this we need to draw the line and now go to the arc by center point and visible line take the bottom corner center and draw the arc of the top midpoints and same way take the top corner and draw the arc between the bottom midpoints and the right side segment you draw, take the right center and the left side take the intersection this is the intersection point take the center and draw the arc to this and once you have finished you can zoom the remaining is the hemisphere this is the circular portion of that the bottom we will get the curve to get the curve we need to draw the actual dimensions Go to line, normal line to get the midpoint. <coughs> okay, next. The next is what this hemisphere, the center of the hemisphere, and the, this axis is the coaxial. This is the one line. But what height this hemisphere should be placed? The height should be taken with respect to the whatever the radius they can because the, bo the bottom we will get the end, curve surface will come. The, the end of the curve surface will touch the apex. So the distance between center to the curved surface will be radius of that. So that's why go to the uh, center line and from the top of this we need to give the uh, radius of this diameter, uh, this one given diameter. Radius is how much? This is 40 means we will get the radius uh, 20. So give the a line, this is the center line of the radius 20, half of the diameter 20. And now we need to place this center on the top of this. And moreover, we need to construct the bottom curved surface. I told that when the sphere comes, the sur curved surface will be having actual true dimension. But here, the, all the dimension will be taken true. First, we need to convert the entire combination to the isometric and then we need to draw the bottom curve. So that's why, uh, uh, first we will place this uh, circular face on the top of this. Go to the move, switch off the copy, select this entire object from the midpoint. Go to the midpoint, then you have to click. It will be started picking it and place it at the top of this line. So we have to place it like this. Once you place, you can delete all this uh, reference line, whatever we constructed. Keep the center because we need to draw a curve there. Go to the scale option, select the entire object, scale factor is uh, 0.814, and press center, it is reduced to the isometry. And now after placing this, we need to draw the arc of actual dimension. So go to the arc, go to the visible line, and then give the radius 20 because diameter is. Then select the center, and from here we need to draw the arc segment to this. And then uh, go to the trim, trim the inside portion is coming. And here, because when you take the when you convert it to the ISO and then you, when you take the actual dimension, it will not touch. Uh, the actual technical is speaking, it will not touch. So the remind uh, we can join it with a smooth line. So go to the line, select this and join, draw a tangent to this. So like you can place it. And this is how the problem number two should be solved.